nature is life and humans won't be alive without it. And if our students have opportunities to, to feel it and touch it and understand it and respect it and work with it, we can go a lot further, I think, as a species. about the place-based education model, I mean, it really has a behind uh, meaning to it. And uh, one of the things that I realized is that, you know, um, we can tell kids that they can be what they want to be. They can do all of these great things. But um, when you think about children that are growing up in Southwest Fresno and surrounding areas, rarely do they ever leave their neighborhoods. So my point of starting a place-based education model school was to be able to take children out to these natural environments, take children out to see what a doctor does, what an engineer does, take children out to the natural environments um, so that they can know how to care for our ecosystem and how they play a part in it. I believe that if children would not went to Golden Charter Academy, some of them would not have those opportunities to have those experiences. So that's what excites me about the place-based education model is because we get to take kids um, out to the natural environments, but still be in class as well too. So a lot of people may call it a field trip, but it's not a field trip, it's a field experience and it's part of their classroom. Classrooms are already going to be different experiences on their own with you know, their teachers, the dynamics of a classroom period. But when you take them out, what, what does that look like for the student? What does that look like for the teacher too? Well, we're really intentional with the field experiences. So they're there to build and deepen, you know, knowledge. Um, we are moving with these things called environmental student outcomes. And it's really important that we create a layered learning experience where they can think critically they can see systems and they can think at a systems level and field experiences give them direct access to being able to see the system in play. The field experiences and getting them out is just about giving the, them the ability to see their community, touch their community, shape their community and figure out where they want to take their community. Like we want them to also invest into their neighborhoods and into their communities and bring their talents and skills to creating safe places to live and learn and play and work. There's a lot of science behind nature connectedness gives you opportunities to be healthier all the way throughout all parts of your life. And so I think that um, our students are really, we know they're gonna be bringing that home and we wanna spur conversations between all of them because they have a lot to learn from each other. Rob, Rob's vision. What has it been like to work with someone um, of his caliber, someone with, you know, a big heart? We met each other at just really important times in our lives. And so it's been fun to be inspired by him, grow with him, build with him, design with him, think with him. I appreciate our time together and as we've gotten to know each other more personally and professionally, like really exploring thoughts and values and perspectives together. And I've learned a lot from that and I am excited to keep doing all that with him. Um, I think we kind of share the same vision of wanting to um, offer a better opportunity for our children, especially those that have been historically marginalized and underrepresented. Um, I think that is definitely time for change for them to become the next great doctors and lawyers and architects and engineers. And uh, I'm excited to be able to help, you know, pioneer this change for them. He's got the energy and the ability to put that energy in a way that can manifest something like really, like really amazing. And I love the fact that he could have gone anywhere after his career and he chose to invest and he's tripled down. He's like here and he's planting. So I'm also trying to water him and help him have the conditions to be able to do some of the things that I think he has the access and networks to really be able to do 
on some deep levels of the community that like here in Fresno. Yeah. So and beyond. Like and beyond. And beyond. You could have right. chosen any of the other cities right, right. that you lived in, where you right. played. What what made you choose your hometown? Well, when you think about Fresno in itself, I mean, we're surrounded by greatness, you know. We're surrounded by different cultures. Um, we're surrounded by um, different national parks and things of that nature. So the fact that we live in this area and a lot of our um, people that are from Fresno and a lot of our children have never got the opportunity to experience them, um, that's one of the things that we want to provide here at Golden Charter Academy is those experiences. Um, I believe that is part of education, you know, um, lifelong experiences that people can go and have encounters with and take it back and uh, be able to share those experiences with people that are in their families and in their communities. Um, one of the things that I wanted to do was just come back to my hometown and let kids know if I can do it, they can do it, you know, and that's kind of set near and dear to my heart just throughout my time because I know um, the challenges that I faced as being an underserved child and an underrepresented child growing up in Southwest Fresno. So um, to be that guy that can come back to my hometown and tell children that you can be what you want to be, just be it, be golden. Um, definitely sits near and dear to my heart and um, just want our children to have the best of the best um, and go off and do great things in the world and come back and uh, do similar things like myself and help uplift the next generation that's to come. We're really about to change the paradigm of education. You know, I think that the um, education system has been the same for a long time. And what I wanted to do was be able to create a school um, that will help every student succeed, um, both academically and in life. So uh, I'm excited to start this new journey with our teaching staff and our you know, inaugural student body.